Welcome to another J Crazy News headlines and a special Sunday to those watching this news broadcast. Now to my viewers and my subscribers. The Maui say no. The people in the ghetto can crown you are done. But if you pass your place, those same people will take you out. And this is what happened to Ichipang, who was murdered yesterday evening by his own cronies after ordering some questionable deeds in the community, even disrespecting elders who were respected in a section of jungle where he resides. Now, Ichipang is said to be a Iradan in jungle. Damani Taylor aka Ichipang was shot dead yesterday evening in a section of the community which they call Bakawal. Now based on information, residents told the news media that Ichipang was marked for death after he was moving shaky in the community. And when I say moving shaky, I mean giving orders to his cronies. Now Ichipang was making some real questionable decision also disrespecting elders in the community who was highly respected by his cronies and other residents in the community. Now things took a turn for the worse when this week he ordered the beating of an elderly in the community and residents started upset even his own cronies had enough of him now yesterday evening it was the final nail in his coffin where his cronies his own cronies took him out now pang is no easy boy may i tell you if you remember when pang run up in man them and step biliously towards Angola after men from Angola clap their youth them called Sham. Now that made Ichipang vex. I'm saying you know what? May I take it to Angola wicked if you remember that war. Now Ichipang was said to be the Don I said before in jungle and he was behind a lot of beating and murders and other lot of killings however in 2018 he was wanted by the police your man by the west kingston division along with three other men now in 2022 ichipang was charged for illegal gun and also shooting with intent now we don't know if he served time in prison but you know the law go they always favor criminals so Ichipang has been his community giving orders and be done for jungle however i said before him start move shaky start give orders to actually disrespect or beat elderly and Recently, in box a woman in her face, who is, I just said to be, a baby mother of one of his cronies. Even if you are done of a community and you are past a place, residents won't respect you again. They will eventually get tired of you and they will want you out. So, so said, so done. Ichipang life was cut short yesterday evening by his own cronies. Now we head towards Christiana in Manchester where two men were shot and killed on Friday night during two separate robberies. Now based on information, the first robbery took place in Savory district near Christiana. Now, 
it happened at a nightclub to be exact. Now based on information, around 10 p.m., five gunmen walk into a nightclub and start to rob individuals of their money and other valuables. Now those criminal elements approach 36 year old Dwayne Carter, a construction worker of Joblin in the parish of Manchester. So they approached him where he had a bag and demanded that bag. However, Dwayne Carter refused to give them his bag. After refusing, he was shot dead by criminal elements. Now, one of the criminal elements took a female outside where he sexually assaulted her before escape. The second killing took place at exactly 10.30 p.m. in Hinderfield, Christiana, where Tafari Barrett, age 33, was at a bar with patrons when two gunmen, two armed gunmen walked in and started to actually rob everyone in the bar. Now, they took Barrett's phone from him. After taking Barrett's phone, Barrett ran to get away from the bar where he was shot in the head by one of the criminal elements who actually had a handgun. They escaped successfully. Now I'm advising persons, especially in Manchester other areas or the committee other parishes, when there is a robbery going on, please cooperate with the criminals. If they want your shoes, give it to them. If they want your belt, give it to them. If they want your watch, your socks, please give it to them. Do not resist. Do not run. Do not try to fight back with these criminal elements. Even though it's said that these men lost their lives, and to the front of these two men, condolences, but let's face the fact. These two men lost their life in a very foolish manner. One was killed because he was stubborn, did not want to give his bag to the criminal element. The other gentleman ran and he was shot in the head. Persons, I am appealing to you, when you are being robbed, remain calm. Do not do something that can cost you your life. Because these criminal elements, they want you to actually fight back and resist so they can make a dopey. Do not give them that right. Now we head towards Harton Court in the parish of Hanover where allegedly on Friday night, two men were shot and killed during a robbery in the area. Now based on information, around 10.30 p.m., armed thugs entered a bar establishment where they robbed individuals, patrons, customers of money and other valuable items. After doing so, they shot and killed a 26-year-old construction worker. Now after escaping, they also shot a man who was riding past the bar. Now that man was pronounced dead at hospital. So far, now the police are asking for anyone who can actually assist them with any information on solving this case. The police are investigating. We went towards the parish of St. Catherine where many of us never see or saw this one coming. Now, a 21-year-old male has been charged for the murder of G.C. Foster VP, who is Gibbs Gibbo Williams, a man who was well-loved by many students, but respected by other individuals as well as peer. Now, the 21-year-old, he is Jerome Hills from a Kingston address. Now, on that day, 
Mr. Williams was shot and killed at a hospital, Portmore Hospital Complex in Portmore St. Catherine, after he went to do a checkup. Now, the mail followed Mr. Williams to the place, to the hospital where he shot Mr. Williams. Now, Mr. Williams tried to get help, but he collapsed at the hospital and he died on the spot. Now, my surprise was, this 21-year-old male is a student of G.C. Foster College. That is why I said I did not see this one coming. Now, this is a picture of 21-year-old Jerome Hills. Yes, the criminal element slash student of G.C. Foster College. Now, Mr. Williams, Mr. Gibbs Williams, spoke to Jerome Hills about his delinquent behavior in class and school. Now, those words rubbed the shoulders of Jerome Hills wrong. When the side say he might take the well-known VP three points. Who would have thought that your own student would have been the perpetrator behind your murder? This is Jay Crazy. News again. Until then, have a blessed and safe Sunday. Yeah man, I'm here see a black legend. I'm here represent for Jay Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. So watch, like, comment, subscribe and share out the thing. Jay Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. In review news and entertainment. Celebrity love star movements for free. Jay Crazy in a play with him and review the thing then. Jay Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. In review news and entertainment. Celebrity love star movements for free. Jay Crazy in a play with him and review the thing then. Review the thing then, review the thing then Check crazy Reviewing news, entertainment and celebrity lifestyle Review the thing then, review the thing then Check crazy